I'm Pete Zielinski, Additive Manufacturing Media. I recently visited Mantle. They're in San Francisco. They're making machines there. And they offer what is essentially an altogether different process for making injection mold tooling. Potentially faster and cheaper than conventional methods of making molds. Same steel, the same performance as conventional mold tooling. It's not entirely 3D printing, but it's a process enabled by 3D printing. This is a 3D printed injection mold tool made of H13 tool steel. 3D printed, even though it's like a solid brick, but there are no residual stresses affecting precision. There's no EDM involved in these features. There was no hogging out of steel. There was no milling of steel at all. Instead, this was 3D printed in a flowable metal paste form. It was machined, shaped in that form, which was basically like the consistency of a rigid foam, cutting it 10 times as fast as steel. And then this mold was sintered to get to this form. Uh, this was made on Mantle's True Shape system. It's a system that consists of the machine that deposits and shapes the metal paste, but also software that controls precision through sintering and a sintering first furnace that is tuned to this process. A mold tool like this produced through 3D printing in the True Shape process in its green state. It can be printed overnight and the sintering step takes somewhere around 30 or 40 hours. Deposition happens in layers of about 100 micron or so, but the part resolution doesn't come from that. That comes from a machining step. After each layer, there is visual and thermal imaging. That's done for process control. There's also a drying step. CNC machining happens every 10 layers or so, but Mantle doesn't call it machining. Instead, this is shaping because it is not performed at the full hardness of the material. The shroud seen here is an element that Mantle added to the machine for dust control. Mantle also specifies the 10 different cutting tool sizes that are in this machine's magazine. That's part of the process as well. The system's been out there in beta. This is the first production machine, just about to be shipped to a customer. Some viewers might be able to tell that it's based on a CNC machining center, a type of machining center some might call a drill and tap machine. Low cutting force, but not much cutting force is needed because the machining, the shaping of the material is done while the material is still in a metal paste state. Mantle, buys the machining center, makes a lot of modifications to it to install their system. They're not using all of the speed that the machine has available. In the first iterations of the system, they're more focused on precision and process control, but there are knobs available for them to play with in the servo system, in the control. So a software update that was just pushed out increase the speed of all the machines that are already out there by 15%. Here's a tube of the flowable metal paste. There's maybe three mold tools in here potentially. It is not H13 right now, it becomes H13. There are different ingredients of the final metal suspended in this paste separating the elements before sintering allows for tighter precision because the different ingredients sinter at different temperatures and so the entire sintering cycle can be controlled. Also the software's compensation for the shrinkage during sintering is tuned not just to the material but to every single batch of the material. The user selects which batch is in the machine and correction factors, offset factors for shrinkage are incorporated into the tool paths in the machine based on this particular batch of material. Sintering is part of the process too and Mantle provides the sintering furnace as part of the system. Sintering cycles tuned to the 3D printed mold tooling are pre-programmed into the Mantle sintering furnace. Uh, the user inputs just a couple things. The material, 
the approximate size of the component, and then based on that, the furnace just runs automatically, sintering the part. Control over sintering is part of the process. These are green parts, oversized, because of the shrinkage that's going to occur during sintering. Here is the actual completed, fully dense, fully H13 tool after sintering. Part of the precision of the system comes from very precise predictability and control over the shrinkage to the extent that Mantle is able to promise a precision of one thousandth of an inch per inch of the part. So there are multiple steps, but this process consolidates a lot of the steps that would go into machining a core and cavity conventionally. In this process, there's no rough milling, there is no hard milling, there's no electrode milling, there's no EDM, there's no drilling of passages like cooling channels because those can be built in just as part of 3D printing and shaping the original form. A toolmaker is still needed. Here's what a toolmaker still has to do. Designing the tool, that still has to happen, and also fitting the tool to fit into the larger mold. That's a step a, a, a skilled toolmaker still performs.